Hey guys, Joe Cool here. <clears throat> Welcome to a proof of concept of sorts. <laughs> so, um, in Mindchem, so there's a request to show how to automate using the chemical synthesis machine uh, using applied energistics. Now, um, generally, it's not practical in material energy cubed because you're limited resources but if you're using mindchem for any of the other packs um, yeah you can definitely do this again I don't advise it it's not very feasible but you know it's up to you um, so this is gonna generally what it's gonna look like uh, what you're gonna want um, to do here we're gonna add one more and show you how to set this up so you're going to need an interface, an ME interface. Now you're going to want to point this into the top of the gen synthesis machine. So we're going to put a gen synthesis machine here. And so now it's getting powered up. And then we're going to whack a mole until this points down. And then we're going to, you need to pull the items out of the bottom. So we're going to use an, uh, an import bus to import it back into the ME environment. So that'll periodically draw stuff back in. And so the next thing we want to do is obviously create our recipe. Now in order to create your recipe, um, you need one of the patterns here. So here's the pattern for the carbon nanotubes. So for this, um, just toss, you know, f here we're going to make diamonds. We need carbon nanotubes to start off with. So as you see, I just drop those in there. And then over here, you're going to put what, what the output is going to be. So when we put four stacks of carbon nanotubes into this gen synthesis machine, we're going to get out one carbon nanotubes. Now what that's going to do when we put it into the interface inside the ME environment, it's going to say, hey, if you want to craft this, um, this is how you just request it and then what it's going to do is it's going to send 256 um, carbon out this interface here into the attached inventory and so that'll end up in here now once it's in here it's not going to do anything because uh, one second I hope I hope you didn't hear that <laughs> just coughing a little frog in the throat ribbit ribbit um, so now we want to put it down there now the, th the thing with this mind chem is you need a book or you should have a book for every um, recipe because things might get wacky um, so you go ahead and make your journal I don't, I don't even remember what the recipe is to this guy oh it's just a book and some glass so not a big deal um, so go ahead and check your journal in there and then what you want to do is the thing that you want to craft, you need to put under the microscope. Now what that's going to do is it's going to say, okay, if I want to craft um, a carbon nanotube, I want to use 256 or four stacks of carbon. Um, if I want to tear it apart, I'll end up with um, 256 and you can see here it's 500 energy and so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and oh we need to select the recipe so now that you've got a part of the journal you need to select it so then go ahead and chuck your book in there so there's your recipe so up here we have um, our ME recipe so it knows to put four stacks of carbon nanotubes in there so if we go over here and let's so we're going to request a diamond. Let's do a diamond. So one diamond. So it's going to send 256 into here. As you can see, everything got pulled out. Now they should already be done. Yeah, see, there's a diamond. So if we do another one, so they're all in here. Now this one's waiting on energy to fill up. Uh, should start here in a few seconds and we'll see it getting pulled out there you go that's basically what it does now the reason I don't recommend setting this up like I was saying as far as resources go 
So a chemical synthesis machine takes a diamond. Now as you can see, we can create diamonds if we have enough carbon. That's a lot of carbon for each one of those, but hey, it's up to you. Um, iron, there's six plus eight, that's what, 14 plus another nine, that's 23 iron. Did I do that right? Yeah, that's right. So 23 iron to make the gen synthesis machine and a piece of redstone. And, well, nine redstone. And then for the ME interface, you've got eight iron, some quartz, some flux, some more quartz, some redstone, and a bunch of other stuff, some glass, some ME cable, which is more flux dust. So you need one of these for each recipe, which, like I said, I don't think it's practical. Um, if you saw my other episode of material energy I showed a way to keep um, different um, material in here in order to do the specific um, crafting or this the um, chemical composition so you can actually create the components you need I think that's a lot more practical um, if you seriously want it automated hey go right ahead <laughs> I think the other the other way like the, this is pretty much what I had set up so I hope this helps um, I hope it makes your minecrafting experience a lot more enjoyable there's energy coming in the back and if you enjoyed this let me know all right guys take care and have a good one